Falling in Reverse fans, how's it going? Back here today with the song Drugs on the channel. Um, right off the bat warning, it does look like this song contains some very sensitive content. So just a heads up, if that's not for you, you can definitely click away. You don't have to watch this by any means. But again, thank you to a number of people who have really been supporting me and wanting me to do more Falling in Reverse. Meg Witt, as always, has been the, the big pusher. And I can't thank you enough for your support on this channel. So I'm excited to see what drugs is all about. I mean, the name drugs kind of alludes to what the content might be about. Um, given the little I know about Ronnie, I do know that he struggled with heroin addiction and it basically almost overtook his whole life. So I'm expecting some subject matter there and some very cool production, I'm assuming. And I'm imagining it's going to get pretty dark, but... Uh, I kind of look forward to that. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you've been watching me here and there, please consider subscribing. It really does help me. I do have a Patreon, best way to actually support this channel, but no need to do that if you can't. Just like hearing from all of you in the comments. Let's get into it. So just a, a reminder, this is a pickup, I guess, for, right from the last um, reaction that I just did. So, Losing My Life, where the two forces of Ronnie are basically going at each other. One basically just comes out of the ground and, like, um, you know, from the dead. I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I'll be doing this shit until I'm 70. Uh, my fans are what keep me going. I'm already, already talking about uh, potentially, you know, ending his life and the, the struggles he's had with that. You know, it's such a driving force in a lot of people's lives. Holy sh... This, is, this got right into it real quick. Okay. Take it back. Right, I do, his rapping skills are, like... Wow. I can't believe he has so many, like, tools in his toolkit. It still amazes me. He can sing, he can, like, do, like, screamo, um, he can rap, uh, he can just talk and monologue and make it interesting. I'm feeling beginning to feel the hostility for my ability of solo becoming a villain. I just want to thank all my fans, especially without you as a death to me. I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I'll be doing this shit till I'm 70. This is my destiny. This is the best of me. It's an incredible feel on the ground. Letting it go. I'm letting you know. We're killing ourselves on the line. And everybody wants some. Everybody gets none from me. Save yourself because no one else is telling you. I'm choosing what lines to really like focus in on here, but 
that one sticks out to me. Um, you're the only one capable of saving yourself, he's saying, because no one in reality has any idea of what you're going through in your own mind, right? I've mentioned this in other videos, but some people are very good at masking their, their emotions and what they're actually feeling at the time. They might be going through the most traumatic tragedy of their life, yet everyone else is blind to it in their lives. Um, and you do hear about these stories of people um, ending things and um, those around them had really no idea that that was going on. Uh, other people, you know, uh, don't mask those feelings. But again, you know, it might be like a boy, cry, boy cried wolf situation and people start to slowly care less over time, which is awful. It really is awful. But um, I think Ronnie is basically saying you need to save yourself. This is, this is dark. Um, it's dark, but like, like amazing writing as always, amazing visuals. Accept the pain just to feel again, uh, smash cut to his daughter who's watching him talk about the, the heroin that he's injecting into his veins to escape the pain. had to call that one out too. The American dream is a killing machine. <sighs> Almost don't want to crack open that can there. Is this one of his bandmates? Never seen him before. Uh, usually Ronnie's the front man. Wow, he's got a, uh, a chainsaw. Is this like the darker part of his mind coming to get him? I, I don't know what this represents. Was not expecting that. Pretty gruesome. Um, I'm glad I put the the spoiler warning at the beginning of this video. Wow. Do I know you? No, not really. dark shit. I don't know what else to say. Um, similar to NF, uh, not similar, but uh, this this sort of origin story where your, your mother or one of your parents is totally completely absent in your life. And Ronnie's basically saying, thank you for not being there for me. That pain, that vengeance, it's what drove me to get to where I am today. And the the successful career that I've built up, the, the fan base, the amazing music I've made is all thanks to your apathy is all thanks to your failure as a parent. The American dream is a killing machine. Everybody. 
Listen to this. So this First time I've heard him sing in this like falsetto. Okay. Hello. And this is my last goodbye. The American dream is a killing machine. Everybody's on fire. This can't be. He could sing. Okay, I really like that. I really like that little like falsetto. It's tender and about to go back into it, but like, wow. His daughter, Willow. It felt so real. It's like I'm losing my mind. I love all of the, the, it really is a narrative, it's a progression. You know, the 2033 in the last video, the, the year that Ronnie that he said he was going to die, that came back, and now he's, I'm losing my mind. He's, this theme of like, blacking out, and having these like, vicious thoughts, these cycling thoughts, and then coming back to reality, where he breathes, he sees his daughter. It's like relapse. Uh, it's very powerful, and I love the way their songs are basically uh, this story, this large, large story, this metaverse. It's like I'm losing my mind. It's like I've been there before. I just know it. Wait. Well? What are you doing? Why are you standing like that? Willow, this isn't funny! Willow! Willow! You You've gotta be fucking kidding me! Mind um, theme song essentially the the retro 80s I, I love all of this um, is that actually his daughter Willow I, I keep asking this I haven't got an answer is that like his real daughter in this video or is that an actor because uh, it almost feels traumatic to be part of traumatic to be part of these videos you know this is dark stuff for a, a, a child to be living through I know she's like nine or ten or something like that um, I guess, I mean, I, I trust Ronnie as a person, but like, this is like, very, very adult subject matter, shall I say. Um, and I love, I love that, that, uh, that bass layer soundtrack right there. It's very, I, like I said, I've probably listened to Losing My Mind now, like, over 50 times. Um, that was on replay, I don't know why, it just really hit me. Drugs going on the playlist too. Um, super dark. Um, super impactful. It gives me a very good understanding of one of the driving forces in his life, or at least in his prior life, and some of the things that keep him tethered to this world. Uh, one being his daughter, and number two being his fan base and his music. Uh, those are really the two reasons I feel like he was able to pull himself up out of that hole and um, turn a blind eye to some of the some of the traumatic things that happened in his past. Again, another amazing video. Um, we're going to continue down the rabbit hole. I can I promise. I know these aren't coming out as fast as people want, but I I really am trying to get into like a rhythm here with them. Um, so just a reminder: if you're not subscribed, please do so. It is the best way to support me. That and Patreon. 
Uh, but just leave me a comment otherwise. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.